The A4 by SGM Lights is a universal high-speed 4-port ARCnet to DMX converter. With a recommended retail price of around £890, including that, it may sound expensive, but if you were to compare that to, say, four of the Showcad single USB to DMX boxes at £234 each, including that, it actually gives you a list price saving of nearly £50. The A4 has a very solidly built, all-metal extruded housing and comes with a bracket mounting system for easy permanent installation. It is also designed to be very rugged should you wish to use the unit for touring. You can set the A4 to listen to any ARCnet universe and output this to any of the four physical 5-pin XLR DMX ports. The A4 connects to your lighting controller via a standard Cat5 or better cabling. It includes in and out RJ45 ports allowing up to five units to be daisy chained without the need of a network switch. Of course, in larger installations a network switch can be employed to create additional branches as long as only up to five A4 units are connected to each branch. Settings on the A4 can be changed using SGM's ArtNet Configurator tool, which is a free downloadable program for Windows PCs available on their website. Without going too deep into the technicalities, the ArtNet protocol is based on Class A IP addressing, the default address being 2.x.x.x with subnet mask 255.0.0.0. As this is not a reserved private range, it is very important that you do not route your ARCnet data onto the internet. Always make sure your ARCnet network is a closed private network. While in theory ARCnet will work within any Class A IP address range, a lot of manufacturers have stuck very close to the documented specification for the protocol. As such, they only allow their products to communicate in the 2.x.x.x range or the 10.x.x.x private Class A range. As such, it is always best practice to remain within one of these two ranges. The A4 does come pre-configured with an IP address within the 2.x.x.x range, so to be able to talk to it we first need to configure the PC with a network address also within this range. If we open Control Panel and type in the search box Network, we can click on View Network Connections. From here we can see all the PC network adapters. This PC only has one wired network adapter. As you can see I've already called it ArtNet to make it easy for me to identify. Next we need to right click on this adapter and select Properties. Click Internet Protocol version 4 and then click Properties. This box is where we can set the network adapter's IP address. By default it will be set to obtain an IP address automatically. And this would be fine if we were connecting to say a router which has its own dynamic host configuration protocol or DHCP server built in. We however want to explicitly specify the IP address of this network card so that we can talk to the A4. So here I've given it an address of 2.7.2.1. As long as the first number is 2 it doesn't matter what the other numbers are as long as they are between 0 and 255 and the entire address is unique on your network. Here I've used 7.2.1 because the venue this is installed in is called Unit 7. It is running in Room 2 and being the lighting controller it is the first device I'm addressing. I could then go on to address say my video media server as 7.2.2 I can then leave a gap to allow other PCs to be connected in the future and have my ARCnet devices start at a round number of say 200. By having a method like this it makes it very simple to fault find any issues on your network, particularly across large multi-room multi-device installations. As we are not talking to the internet or any other subnets for that matter, we will not be using DNS on this network, so the DNS server fields stay blank. Click OK to set the address and then click close to close the adapters properties box. We can now open the SGM ARCnet configurator tool. Once open the ARCnet configurator tool polls the network for any connected SGM ARCnet devices and displays them here. If you do not have any appear, click file and then options. Next make sure the correct network adapter is selected in this drop down. I'll just point out now that this tool isn't exclusively for configuring the A4. It is also used to set up SGM's ILD 
and TLD612A Ethernet LED drivers, and as such, some of the functions that are displayed in the software do not apply to the configuration of A4 units. So here is my A4, and if I click on it, the details appear on the right-hand side. As you can see, the IP address can be changed from the default to a custom one by clicking on the pencil icon. I have opted for 7.2.200. In the name box, you can set a name for the A4 box, which will be used as part of ArtPole to identify the box to your controller. The template drop-down allows you to load presets if you are using your A4 with particular SGM LED products. Blackout on data timeout means that if the box stops receiving ArtNet data, it will zero all of the DMX outputs. By leaving this unchecked, it will hold the last values received before it lost ArtNet. For this application, I will be leaving it unticked so that in the event of a controller crashing, the room doesn't go dark. Below are the settings for each of the four physical outputs. In this box, we can set which universe this port is going to output, remembering that the first assignable universe is universe 0. We can, if we like, set more than one port to the same output, allowing us to use this box as a DMX splitter. Now it is also possible to have multiple controllers sending DMX over ArtNet to the same universe. The A4 can handle this in a number of different ways selected by this drop down. It can merge the DMX streams on a highest takes precedent basis, whereby the highest DMX value will be output. It can also merge the DMX streams on the latest takes precedence basis, where the most recent change to the DMX value will be output. Or it can be set to not merge and will only output from the first control stream encountered after initialization. Once you've configured all the required settings, you can click on Apply Changes to save these to the A4. The A4 can now be polled from your light controller, ready to be patched in. After using A4s on a few installations now, a little tip I'll give you is to put your A4 on a battery backup uninterruptible power supply, or UPS. The reason for this is that unlike some other ArtNet interfaces I've used, I've noticed, particularly when using an A4 with Showcat Artist, that after the A4 suffers a power failure, the communication between the controller and the box do not automatically reconnect, and a restart of the controller may be necessary. So there we have it, the A4 by SGM Lite, a highly configurable, cost-effective, universal high-speed, 4-port ArtNet to DMX converter. Thank <laughs> you.